Hello and welcome to another episode of InDesign Handy Hints with Short and Sweet Adobe Training. Today we're going to be looking at InDesign and how you can edit images that you've been working on within your InDesign document. Edit them in their original format so it could be a Photoshop file that you want to go in and change in some way. Now the traditional or one method would be to launch Photoshop and then file open that image, update it, close the image and then come into InDesign uh, to check that it has updated. You can very quickly access that image in Photoshop from within your InDesign document by using the edit with function. We can do that by selecting an image that we'd like to change and then right clicking on that image and scrolling down to the edit with drop down. And it's from here I've got a number of applications to choose from. I'm going to choose Photoshop which will launch Photoshop and open up my image and now I'm ready to edit it. I'll just very quickly select part of this image and remove some of that text that's on the blackboard in the background there. Just fill that with some content aware fill. I'll deselect that and now if I go up to file and save, I'm not renaming it, I'm just saving it in the same file format and with the same name. So now when I go back to InDesign, the image has automatically updated in InDesign. So there's no need to do any updating from my links panel. It's a great time saver if you ever need to edit your images from within your InDesign document. And you can also get to this function through the links panel. So if I scroll up to the top of my links panel here and select one of the images at the top, and then click on the drop down in the top right hand corner. You can scroll down and as you can see I've got edit with and then the ability to edit from Photoshop or any other application that's available. So hopefully you found this tip helpful with editing your InDesign documents and I look forward to seeing you in the next InDesign Handy Hits tutorial.